When Eminem started rapping, he had only created an army behind him. My God, have I found the next Eminem. This lady right here spitting straight gangster rap. Half the words that she says in her songs, I can't say as a white male. However, some of you might be able to. So lucky you. Now, there's not many rappers I can sing along to these days without getting cancelled and or killed. But this woman, my God, does she have some absolute fire, some absolute drip. And she has sacrificed her career for it. If you're reading this correctly, you you are a gentleman and an absolute god. So, a Detroit. So, Detroit, um, which I'm pretty sure is actually where Eminem's from, funnily enough. But Detroit is obviously uh, well known for its rich culture and vibrant life and not its crime and murder rates, don't worry. So, a Detroit teacher was fired because she refused to delete her rap videos online. In response, she made one of her now former students. So, these kids in the back are all of her former students, which is kind of, I mean, it's a joke, isn't it? Let's be real. It's actually hilarious that this woman has dragged these poor kids out from their homes to stand in the back getting their Fortnite dance on while she sings absolute sp ugh. she spits absolute gangster it's absolute tripe it's absolutely you know it's bleached to the ears if you listen to it for too long I'm pretty sure you will go deaf and blind at the same time lucky me but this queen she's called dripping honey because baby girl she always dripping honey and she's got things called honey economics which is almost like 90s you know honey economics raw honey ugh, the best kind homie the best kind is that raw honey that makes you shiver. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, 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 yummy. So dripping honey obviously has a few innuendos that can be linked to it. So I thought let's let's check her out on Spotify. Now, as you can see from her content here, it's obviously very um, PG. Uh, she has a um, title called D Riding that can only be things like donkey riding, which I'm sure she does a lot in her spare time. Um, what else could D Riding be? Um, I'm not too sure. I think she means dick riding. Now, for obvious reasons, I don't want to get sued by this absolute bbw uh what this absolute queen but look in terms of let's say a teacher if one of my teachers had a song called dripping 101 n-word no still dripping by the way so she's been dripping for a very long time whatever that means good on her ain't no thing what a chicken wing. i did give this a listen just before the track and it's exactly how you think it's going to sound very bad but you know she's got very kid-friendly pictures on so i wonder why the the parents got all annoyed that she was rapping and all the students found out and i mean d-riding that's just horrific. What could that possibly mean? She's a real biatch. You know, all these pictures. She's clearly trying to be the next Nicki Minaj or the next, um, what's she called? Other rapper. Hardy B. So D-riding. It can only be a chop, an absolute tune. Hello, your computer has virus. Oof. Now, I obviously I can't show that to you, but that was pretty poor. I can't lie. It's like a... It reminds me of a little pump. You remember him? It's like, Gooshy gang, gooshy gang, gooshy gang. You know, it's like, we have too many girls in the mouth. And like, gooshy gang, gooshy gang, gooshy gang. Gooshy gang, gooshy gang, gooshy gang, gang. But enough of that. I'm not getting sued. If you want to listen to her music, good luck to you. I can tell you 10 songs that are better than her written on my arse cheeks than let you listen to her. But yeah, just to confirm, I'm not telling a porky pino. Teacher films her music video with students after parents get her fired for r r r rapping. She's in Detroit. She was absolutely spitting fire and the school just don't want people to win. They don't want sex. Say that she they don't want success. My outside life should not be the grounds for termination when it does not interfere with my ability to fulfill my responsibility as a teacher, my dedication, professionalism, and passion for education. My passion for education while she shakes her booty and talks about big penises on the tracks, but anyway, has always been unwavering regardless of any personal pursuits I may have. Now, I do believe you know what happens outside of school should stay outside of school and should not be reasons to get her the sacky wacky. You know, she shouldn't be axed for that, I have to admit. However, the sort of content she's doing. It's sort of like the cousin of OnlyFans, and I don't. I'm j obviously that's slight sarcasm. However, if you kind of think about it, she's got a butt out, she's got a breast out, she's dropping the end bomb, she's talking about beaches, she's not really doing anything good for women. And I don't really think that's a good role model to have in a school. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think she should be fired. I think that's outrageous because again, what stays outside of school is outside of school. But I think when you have students and you have kids, all this, that, and the other, who are you know look up to teachers. Teachers are role models, people you don't aspire to be necessarily, but you definitely look at them and go, I would like to you know at least aim to be something like you and i don't think rapping about all the stuff i've just mentioned is a very good thing for the school especially a school with young children in it so one of the students uh, let out their support the school just got robbed of their coolest teacher yeah bro dripping honey has left the premises and i can be sadder i'm gonna stand with her triumph and print out loads of posters and be at all of her gigs the attention she's received after getting fired might just be what she needed to take a rap she needs something she might need some rocket fuel because that 
shit is absolutely like a flaccid penis right now. That shit is done. It needs something to excite it and take it to space because, my God, her music is tripe. It is trash. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a lovely woman and I'd love for you to have taught me in history, but I promise you, it is utter muck. But this is a TikTok, so I can show you it. I'm fairly certain. Let's let's see the kids have an absolute bop of a time while this teacher flashes, you know, her, her very minimal wage salary as a teacher, by the way. So all this cash she has here is probably her entire life savings, let's not forget, because no, no disrespect to teachers, but they are on peanuts. Literal peanuts. <laughs> That was just so cringe. <laughs> like, imagine being one of her students and you're like this. And look, you've got the white kid in the background. They would have been, yo, you're welcome. Just stick in the back, bro. You're not part of the drip right here, okay? Oh, baby going crazy like the 80s. Motown, baby, going crazy like the 80s. Motown, baby, going crazy. Oh, good. You got a guy on crutches. Like the 80s, I put it on the floor when I dare bitch to take it. Niggas running around the city. Owe me money, shit is silly. Buy my money just like 50 hoes. Mad, I got the power in the juice. Nah, been talking shit. I'm from the 4819. She's throwing like $1 bills out like, yeah, take this. Take this parky change, girl. You like it? This is what my successful career brought me. You're with you kids can keep this cash afterwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm the best teacher you ever goddamn had. Ooh, you hear that? That was straight Eminem. My name's Raw Honey, you can find me where the hive is. Damn! That's just gonna stick with me, dog. I might get that tattooed on my nipples or something and have it for the rest of my life. She's smoking. See, I feel sorry for these kids because, you know, obviously you'd love to be in like a music video like this and have a bit of a laugh, but everyone's just sort of like watching this and going like, this is truly a tragic state of affairs and these poor kids have been very unlucky, shall we say, to be part of this video. And I do feel like, you know, it's a bit of a laugh, but have I mean, you listened to it? Like, it, it is sh it, it's shit. Like, it's, it's bad. You know, if she takes off, it is purely hype and bullshit. Like, she has not got a song that I would wipe my dog's arse cheeks with the lyric paper of because it's that bad. You know what I mean? I would just like, ugh, ugh, God, terribly. <laughs> no I ain't no hoe while she hugs a 12-year-old. <laughs> Oh, that's enough of that. Uh, here's her exceptional Instagram. Go give her a follow. I know I certainly won't be. She's obviously got a bit of a boost right now. She's, you know, on what we would call the upward trajectory. However, as we've seen with many people, the upward trajectory can last a mere moment. And I think this is going to last a mere moment. Dripping with honey. More like dripping with no money, honey. <gasps> Bing! Bada boom! Career done! She should go back into history. One day she'll be teaching of her downfall. That's how much has his men ruined me. I had a career for mere moments, for seconds. And I'll tell you the story, kids. I've written a book on it. How I lasted for seven seconds before has his men absolutely ruined my career. So she'll be teaching history once again once she realised her career's take not taken off, unsurprisingly. And she'll one day teach the history of her amazing career that lasted three days. If she has an OnlyFans, I'm going to be scared. Bad with bars. Mm, honey economics, dripping honey. See? Just N-words everywhere. It's like a minefield of N-words. You know, when you read something, you're not really thinking. I I've got to, like, really be careful. Because you know me. I'm going to leave it in there if I say I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm joking. I don't say that word. I don't think anyone should, especially if we don't want it to be part of our dialect. But anyway, look, go check her out. Um, It's been kind of funny. And she's a teacher and she's got a, you know, a melons out every op opportunity she can. I I'd like to give her, you know, a good look and a fist bump, but I think her career is already over and I just wanted to talk about it because I am just a sad fat old man hiding behind my screen t talking shit about dripping honey I love money I'm about to rub it in your honey yo Yo, I'm dripping honey. I really don't care. I'm looking at all this money and it's in my hair. I'm looking at you because I think that you're looking at me, a man. Yeah, you stare. You smell like my cow's farts, man. Don't. Yeah, I'm not a rapper. Fuck this. She's better than me, but that means nothing because I'm white, so it's not in my jeans. It's not fair. It's not fair.